What's going on everybody? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today I want to talk a little more about Spider-Man No Way Home. Now I have my quick review over on Geeks and Gamers. If you have not checked that out, go do so. It's a non-spoiler quick review. I loved it. I thought it was great. I highly recommend it. I had a few issues with it, no doubt, and I'm still trying to comprehend everything I've seen and, and how it kind of lands overall in the landscape of things, but I definitely recommend it. If you're on the fence, I would recommend going to see it. Uh, nostalgia overload, a lot of fan service. Unfortunately, some, some of the MCU humor kind of aggravated me uh, at parts of the movie in the first part, but once we really got our feet underneath this, it got rolling and it was great. But I wanted to talk about how before I went to see the movie, I was actually spoiled, and I was spoiled uh, by a comment, a YouTube comment during one of my live streams. And that's just going to happen. And, and uh, I hear all of these people trying to take a, a, you know, a superiority stand, like, don't be that person to spoil the movie. People are going to do it. Stop pretending like you can stop people from posting spoilers. Guess what? It's the real world. And real in the real world, people are assholes. You just have to understand that. And if you don't want to get spoiled then stay off the internet. It's not a complicated situation. People are going to be assholes. And you getting on social media preaching about how don't be that person. That person wants to be that person. That's why they do it. Welcome to the real world where people are assholes and people like to troll. And so, yes, I was trolled uh, literally everything. Literally every key moment that was in the movie was uh, ruined for me. And I'm here to say that it had zero impact on my enjoyment of the movie. And so uh, that's the best takeaway from it because I know there's a lot of people that aren't going to be able to go see this on opening night or go to see this opening weekend. And just understand that if you do get spoiled, it shouldn't have much of an impact on you at all. It had no impact on me. It had no impact on my enjoyment. And in fact, it kind of helped me um, simply because there's so much speculation with this movie. So to have it confirmed one way or the other, it actually helped me. It helped me understand it and it helped my expectations going into it. So um, this is just a response to, to the people that get on social media, the, the people they think they can change the world with a tweet. You know, we can change the world uh, or these companies that think they can change everything because because they put a different character in a video game or some dumb shit. It's, it's directed at these idiots who think, well, don't be that guy. That guy wants to be that guy. So when you say don't be that guy, you're only making that guy want to be that guy even more. So I, I think people are just idiots and, uh, you know, thinking they, that that's going to have any impact whatsoever. The real world has assholes in it, and we just have to deal with that. But as far as my experience was not impacted at all by being spoiled by Spider-Man No Way Home. If you guys have seen the movie, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.